Hi, I'm Jesse, and in this video series, I'm going to make all of my furniture using these three power tools. Today, we're going to make a bed. Armed with the measurements of my IKEA twin mattress, I set off to get supplies. I had the nice people at Home Depot cut a single sheet of plywood down to size so that it would fit in the car. Back at the shop, I clamped down a guide and used my circular saw to cut the lengthwise excess into three equal pieces that I would use as support for the underside of the bed. I applied a thick but even layer of wood glue before attaching the support to the underside of the bed. I clamped the support into place and attached it using one and a quarter inch screws. I then repeated the process on the opposite side. I then cut two smaller supports that would fit snugly in between the two lengthwise supports, which I also glued and screwed into place. I used my orbital sander to make sure that all of the edges were flush. I then hand sanded to round over or break the edges of the plywood. I cut the remaining piece of plywood, the same with this bed, to make into a headboard. It then underwent the same sanding process. After flipping the bed, I made sure to break the edges on that side as well. We then coated the entire bed in polycrylic. I drilled five evenly spaced holes in a shelf bracket that I got from Ikea. After removing all the metal splinters with a pair of tweezers, I used it as a template to draw corresponding holes on the second bracket. I used construction adhesive in between the two brackets before connecting them with nuts and bolts. I then drilled four holes in the bottom of the now doubled bracket. We screwed the brackets into place using a flexible bit holder attachment for the drill. I drilled three holes on the two remaining shelf brackets before attaching them to the headboard, leaving about an inch of an overhang. I then attached the headboard to the bed. For more detailed information, check out our website. While you're at it, check out Reaby Nation, where you can post your own projects, get new ideas, and even have a chance to win the tools I use. And don't forget to subscribe.